I grew up in Carrollton, Georgia, as I said, and uh, my parents were very young. They married at 18 and 21, and um, I had just a normal childhood growing up and went to Georgia Southern University to college. Then after college, I graduated and went to ultrasound school in Atlanta and specialized in cardiovascular ultrasounds. On June 25th of 2004, I was in an exam room performing an echocardiogram and there was a knock on the door and my boss stuck his head in. He said, I'm so sorry to interrupt you, but your dad is on the, the phone. So I excused myself from the patient. I ran to the office. I thought my dad has never called me at work. And so on the other end of the phone line, daddy said, mama wanted me to call you. She's been attacked. And I said, attacked? And he said, yes. A, um, a young man, she thinks, she, um, he came in and held her at knife point and raped her. And I said, oh goodness, I said, well Jim's doing his trauma rotation right now in Tuscaloosa. My sister was working um, in Birmingham. I said, I'll get them and we'll head home as quickly as we can. And he said, well be careful, we're okay. And as soon as I hung up the phone, it was like a lightning bolt hit me. I basically had a nervous breakdown. My legs went out from under me, and um, a colleague of mine put me in a wheelchair and took me to my best friend that worked on the second floor at Baptist Montclair, and um, she contacted Druid City, and we got Jim back to Homewood and went to Saks to pick up my sister. And that was the longest ride um, back to Carrollton that day, my sister and I were so angry at God. We were just, we cannot believe that this would happen to anybody, but much less a, mo a more generous, God-loving woman than my mother. Most rape um, cases that happen, it happens from um, someone that you know. And this was, she was a complete stranger. And so she felt singled out when she would go to support groups. And so I said, Mom, how are you dealing with this? And she said, through my Heavenly Father. He's my counselor. And so my sister and I were like, well, if mom's turning to God and is thinking he did not allow this to happen, then we have to also deal with it the same way. Our life was changed forever. You know, it was one of those things that I thought, okay, we're not gonna be embarrassed about this. Um, we lived in this community where people were going that day knocking on doors asking if they had seen she'd given a sketch um, of this man and um, basically from that day on I decided that God was going to see us through it. Through that I believe that's why I have um, lots of friends, beautiful relationships with others because I don't keep this all in anymore. I share it because even though my husband and I and our children and our family were so happy and um, we do have, still have a broken heart from what we've been through. And as Bobby Prince, my Sunday school teacher, always says, if you stay connected um, t to the branch, then um, God will see you through these trying times.